door open. The and door he has opened. Door stop, Felix. Door is open. Door stop is engaged. Okay, item 26. Move seat to the rear of capsule. Item 27. Lift legs into the door threshold. Item 28, slide the seat forward. Okay, item 29, release seat belt. Item 29, Felix, release the seat belt. Boy, that's good. Okay, slide forward into the rest position. Go a little bit further forward so we can check your chute. Your chute's okay, Felix. I say it again. Item 31, your chute integrity is checked. Your parachutes are not deployed. Item 32, verify cutaway knife handle strap is attached and knife in proper position. Say Roger if it's so. Roger. Okay, chest pack face plate heat is on. Make certain that's is on and you got a red light. Just red light is on. Okay, uh, here we go. Item 34, disconnect chest pack umbilical. Okay, uh, do you read me, Felix, on the communications? Uh, Felix, give me a short count. Okay. Stow umbilical. Disconnect both oxygen supply hoses. Okay, are they disconnected? Give me a thumbs up if they're disconnected. I don't, they're still connected. Felix, disconnect the oxygen hose. Atta boy. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down. Release the helmet tie-down strap. Start the cameras. And our guardian angel will take care of you.
showing Felix in a stable descent. Well, that's very, very reassuring what we've seen there. That high speed drop, and now you can see from the little dot, there's the applause. David, you called me? You said something, Kim. Family applauding, but you can see by David, can you hear me? the little dot that he's in controlled descent. Two minutes into free fall. So two minutes. Uh, keep talking, Felix. Keep talking. Still can't quite make that out, but reassuring to hear his voice. And you can see how he's in control there. That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen bottles. Yes, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Roger, go ahead. Go ahead, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Still free falling. Really stable. You've fallen three and a half minutes. Record I is. I have to before because my riser is walking out. I'll repeat, my riser is walking out. So you can understand that. He said his visor was fogging up, but he's getting to warmer altitudes. There's the shoot. There's the shoot. Under, under parachute now. Could have done even better myself. There's, there's from the, the helicopter the now. At five to ten. Out of the north. Under canopy. And you can contact floating Mike Todd safely, on this frequency. Give Mike floating Todd Floating safely call, down remember? to earth. There's Ava Baumgartner. Felix, the wind's out of the north, 5 to 10. Give Mike Elated. Todd a call. Tears on this of frequency. joy Over. from Mission Control. As Felix now Felix, approaches I, the ground. Uh, I hear you. The winds here are out of the east. At about 10 to 15. So, so we're we're now at 6,000 feet. This is Mission Control. Felix's current altitude under the chute is 6,600 feet. I need direction. So he has the highest we're jump. For you, but we can't find you. Uh, the telemetry didn't work. There he is. There's a closer, sh closer shot from the helicopter. 
Jennings, the wind is out of the north, five to ten. Beautiful Wait. shot. Facing that big tower. Anybody can hear? I'm facing that big tower. Okay, and the wind's out of the east. I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong information. Out of the east. All your feelings were coming your way, bud. Carry on, my knee's Larry. Pretty good. Coaching her. Felix, wind is out of the east. The wind is out of the east. Under parachute, you have we see it. We're quite coming a, your way right now. Quite a bit of control by pulling Look those. Land down in some other direction. Wind's out of the east, Felix. Wind's out of the by east. By pulling the cords, he can control a fair amount of control on his path into this landing. Now we see that scrub earth below. Felix's altitude is 5,800 feet. Just 5,000 feet now, so really nearing. And the altitude out there, I'm not sure of the altitude of the ground. Hey, drop on clear, guys. Drop on target clear. Luke's making the call to drop smoke, Felix. That means to Luke's drop that east, Felix. smoke marker from one of the helicopters. Oh, he wanted to see, I see. He wanted the smoke so he could see the wind direction. Hey, Felix, the wind is coming from the ridge. The wind is coming from the ridge. No, towards the ridge. Art Sorry. Thompson, the, wind the is technical director the ridge. of the Red Bull Status Program, telling him that the wind is coming from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. We'll find out about the mock. Did he break the speed of sound as he hoped? Here he's coming. And there you can see by the approaching shadow, he's just about there, and he's down on the earth, safely back. Down on his knees, what a shot. So he has the new record. Control shows recovery crew is at uh, Felix's location. Also, Mission Control shows uh, the balloon has been cut from the capsule and the capsule is on its descent. So in there fast, he has the world's record now for the highest jump by far. Around 28,000 feet. So more than 24 miles up, successful after all this training, all this work, all this time, there is the capsule being lowered. It has been cut away from the balloon. It's parachute deploying automatically and the capsule comes down to preserve the data and the pictures that are there. There's Stratos capsule altitude is uh, family celebrating 4,000 feet. Mrs. Baumgartner, friends, Felix Baumgartner Sr., his father, all celebrating here at Mission Control. There's the recovery helicopter very near where he landed, out to the east of Roswell. Yeah, we have unofficial word there on some of those those statistics. It was a four minute, and uh, this was unofficial as they got it in mission control. Four minute mission control and 22 second feet and descending. drop in free fall. So that would not break the Kittinger record for that. 
would not break the record for the elapsed time of the free fall. And we'll see, did he break Mach? Those were speeds up in the 700 mile an hour mark. So I think that's unofficial and calculated a bit differently than the instrumentation aboard his pressure suit. Feet descending. But that looks like he probably broke Mark. Mach, excuse me. But we'll see. That has to wait. Backs, snags in development of the equipment, weather delays. But today, Baumgartner and the Red Bull Stratos team are celebrating. Celebrating on the ground there at the scene now. More celebrations will follow here at Mission Control. So we're still awaiting final confirmation, but unofficially, new world records have been set for the highest free fall ever, the fastest free fall ever, as well as the highest ever manned balloon flight. And today was also a big win for Capsule science, as the Red Bull uh, Stratos team collected 60, valuable feet. data that could ultimately help improve the safety of space travel and enable high altitude emergency bailouts from spacecraft. The coverage doesn't end here. For more updates, including reaction from Baumgartner and the team, we encourage you to visit redbullstratos.com. So for now, this is Robert Hager saying so long from Roswell, New Mexico. sound as he hoped. Here he's coming. And there you can see that he's going to be sound. 